All right, we got to talk about the not so sexy part of being a mixing and mastering engineer, video editor, content creator, artist. You're doing everything, right? And you're doing it all off of a MacBook Pro or even a MacBook Air because these are getting like super capable nowadays. And the issue is we got what? Two Thunderbolt ports on this guy and we have three on the MacBook Pro. So now our dongles got dongles, right? My dongles got dongles. We got iLocks hanging off stuff and we got SSD hard drives flying around because we got to keep backing up the content onto other drives because there's just not enough and you're hot swapping stuff all the time. And then you got the hard drive that spins still because it doesn't cost a thousand dollars for just a couple terabytes <laughs> like it's it's just getting absolutely out of hand here but i think i have the solution for you in this video it's this new one Avanki. they made this fusion dock max 2 it's brand new and it is specifically for the macbook pro with the thunderbolt 5 so this has like more ports and ethernet ssd usb c usb everything hdmi it's got everything you need 23 port connectivity so i, I won't have to unplug anything ever again hopefully that's the idea, but we're going to find out in this video. So let's dive in. First things first, we got to open this thing up and see what's in it. And usually to open up plastic, I like scratch at it. Like I'm, you know, three years old or something, <laughs> or I'm a puppy or something. And let's see what's in the box itself. Oh, Ivanki, Gloria. That could be their new theme song. Oh, this thing is heavy. It's like a tank, like a tank, baby. All right, let's take this off. All right, so this is actually a really, really sturdy feeling, like super solid. So if you guys are gamers or you're editing, you know, video and you're doing a lot of that kind of stuff, this is probably a must for you, especially if you're working off of a laptop, MacBook Pro. And honestly, this is only made for MacBook Pro. This is not made for PC. Let's open up the box and see what else we got. Looks like we got the dual USB-C cable. We got this huge brick for a power supply. And another really cool feature of this is that it has fan, like it has active cooling to it. And I noticed a lot of my Thunderbolt 5 docks and stuff, they get really hot. And I don't know if you've guys had it happen, but something will like eject my eye lock will eject or a hard drive will eject like randomly while I'm in a big deep session. So that's really going to help with that, you know, because you got the active cooling and it's also got like copper. So it's like copper heat sink around this with like a huge open slit. So airflow can go through, which I think is really, really dope. And we'll, I'll plug some like, you know, really cool shots of B-roll of this because it is super solid and super dope feeling. It feels cool. Hopefully it works good. All right, so I'm going to test a couple things here on the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into my MacBook Pro that I'm actually shooting this on. Now, mind you, I also have a 4K stream card going into my one of my Thunderbolt 4 cables just to do this right here with you guys, right? So I can do the screen capture. This is nice. This actually comes with a cable. That's awesome. So this comes with an HDMI to USB-C. Amazing. I didn't expect that. That's super sick. All right, so I'm going to plug this all in. I'm going to plug in all my dongles, all my hard drives. I'm going to uh, test drive speeds because I have SSDs that are running my samples. And that's something you guys might want to know about as composers. You got your contact libraries and stuff. Are you going to slow down and throttle your drives if you plug in from this that's connected to your MacBook Pro? Or do you need to go directly into the MacBook Pro with your SSDs and your sample drives? So let's start with that because that's something that's really important to me. And let's see the speed differences. I'll use Blackmagic disk speed test and we'll test between going directly into the MacBook Pro and then going through this. Let's go. Before I test these hard drive speeds, I do want to report that I have everything plugged into it and it went perfectly well. So I literally don't use this anymore. I can toss this in the garbage or if someone wants to buy it, you know, I'll sell it to you like 10 bucks. <laughs> so that's done. Also, my 4K card, I had like this little dongle I had to use with it, which was like a USB, you know, A to C. Don't have to use this little adapter anymore. So I could sell that to you as well. Like that's done. So it's all running. I have my dongles, my iLocks, everything plugged in. I literally plugged all my Apollo interfaces. I have a rack. I have an X4. I have a satellite. I plug them all directly into the Avanki and they're running perfectly. 
no audio issues. I got the video going. I just want to report that because sometimes you plug in a new piece of gear and you're like, yeah, this is going to be great. And then it just like doesn't work. And that is so frustrating, but this is working great. And I just want you guys to know that I'm being real with you. All right. And the coolest highlight of this dock is that it's the only triple display MacBook dock for Thunderbolt 5. So now let's test the hard drive speed going from the SSDs that I have. And there's actually three SSDs in a drive enclosure that's connected through Thunderbolt. And I just connected it right to the dock. And remember, there are different ports that are going to have different speeds. OK, so you're going to want to probably keep the high speed ones for your hard drives, the low speed ones for dongles, iLocks, things like that. So I'm going to pick one of the drives here, which projects is a good one here. I'll open it up with Blackmagic disk speed test. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this at let's just do two gigabytes stress test. I'm going to run this and then I'm going to unplug the drives from the Avanki and then I'm going to plug it directly into the Thunderbolt 5 port in the MacBook Pro. And we're going to see if there's any difference here in speed. So let's go. Okay, 678. That's pretty good. 795. These are kind of older SSDs, so pretty good. Good speed. Okay, so you're seeing it. 678. 795 pretty even across the board so that is going to be going directly into the Ivanki. now let's go directly into the macbook pro the thunderbolt 5 port and see if we get any speed difference here all right now i've plugged the hard drives in directly to the thunderbolt 5 port so let's select the hard drive again here and we'll do the same one projects and let's check out the speed here any difference looks about the same 678 and 797 okay we got we got 2.4 megabytes per second faster there 278 and 797 0.6 there you go there you have it so you are losing point or 2.6 megabytes per second on the read speed from the Ivanki. <laughs> not bad not a bad loss right now let's move on to opening a really heavy pro tools or logic session and just running everything and making sure that everything's going to be running fine and then we'll check the heat and everything of this thing and make sure it holds its weight now for the final test i want to just go through this pro tool session play it open up plugins you know see if anything disconnects for example like is the video going to freeze on me that's connected to the screen capture is anything going to glitch out are dongles going to get ejected or our hard drives going to get ejected while i mess with this session that's taking up a lot of ram and has quite a few tracks and plugins and it's taking up a lot of processing power while i have everything connected to the ivanki so let's just start playing this and opening up plugins don't you deserve it So we got like oversampling an extra pristine, like 16 times on the gold clip. Nothing glitching, nothing getting weird. Let's feel the heat on it. No heat whatsoever. So the heat is dissipating really well off this thing. The last Thunderbolt thing I had, it got really hot, right? So this one's like holding the heat like perfectly. It's just dissipating it. Let's see if the video is still working on the 4K card here. Check, check. Oh yeah, so I'm frozen on the 4K card. That's one thing, that's really hard though. Like see, I'm just like a frozen visual on screen right now when I switch to the 4K card. Um, so I'm gonna unplug that and plug it back in and see if it comes back. Okay, yeah, so this looks like it froze on, oh, you can't, okay, it's back. All right, cool. So that might be something that I have to swap out. I have it just plugged into the front uh, USB a port here which i'm not sure if it's fast enough so i might have to find a faster usb a port and that's what i was talking about is like you have like five uh gigabits per second and then you have 10 gigabits per second on usb so there's different types and then there's even a usb a 480 megabits per second so 
megabits per second. I might be bytes, but lowercase b. So I think it's bits, right? So I might just have to plug that into a different thing. You can see right now, I'm actually frozen again on the screen here on the screen cap. So that's gonna be a really, really hard transfer. 4K card going to a screen cap. Yeah, we gotta go ahead and do a faster port more than likely. But that's really the only thing that I've noticed so far that's had any issues. If you're going with some screens and stuff, you know, let me know how it goes, but I'll leave a link in the description to pick up the Fusion Dock Max 2. If you guys got anything out of this video and you've been shopping around for a Thunderbolt dock, like this is the one, especially if you're doing MacBook Pro, the only one I would recommend. I've looked at a lot of these and I've spent over 25 years doing this music stuff on computers. <laughs> you know, I, I worked on the first dual core processor computer. So I had to nerd out and learn this stuff just to become a music producer, audio engineer, composer, because you have to know the tech. And this is a big part of the tech. So definitely consider checking one of these out. I think they're around 400 to $500, but well worth it. I don't have anything else plugged into my computer besides that dock. So seems to be working really great. Hope you guys got a lot out of the video and I hope you check it out. That's it. That's all I got for you. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.